let's prove the theorem of the previous video. This proof is based on the following observation, that if you have a vector, you can write that vector as a linear combination of the vectors E sub i. Think this. So for example, the vector four, negative three, two, just picking a vector at random is four times E one minus three times E two plus two times E three. What this means is that if we have a linear transformation, applied to a vector, we can break this vector up. Just like we broke this vector up. But if we have a linear combination, sorry, a linear transformation, applied to a sum, the definition of linearity says that that is the sum of linear transformations. Now, we have all of these scalar products Applying linearity once more, we can pull those scalars out. Like so. Now these T's are vectors. So we have a linear combination of vectors. And we've seen that vector equations and matrix equations are the same thing. We can rewrite this linear combination as the product of the matrix that has these vectors as its columns times the vector of these coefficients What were we trying to prove? That this linear combination, that I keep doing that, that this linear transformation applied to this vector is the same thing as a matrix times the vector. And we have done precisely that.